Hey guys, Michael23B here, and welcome back to Rustic Let's Build Episode 3. Last episode, we built this awesome little uh, lookout area into the ocean, for whatever reason. And uh, since last episode, I have built like some little lanterns here, uh, which give light off in the night. There wasn't quite, there wasn't quite enough light uh, to see at night, so I just thought they'd look cool. And I would add a bit of brightness to the side of it. Uh, also, I added this little uh, thing down here. And then you can come down here and you can like fish or whatever. And there will be like a staircase going right here to up here, I think. Um, so that's, got, that's what I'm going to be working on today. But um, I'm also going to be starting the clock tower or... Um, the clock tower or the lighthouse, whichever. I'm not sure quite yet, but I'll figure it out. So, there's not much I can say about building like a cave here inside here, so I'm just gonna like speed it up. Um, just if you are going to do any like cave kind of things, my only suggestion is that you uh, you, you try and make it organic. You don't want to have, you don't want to have like it super blocky. You want to make it like. I like it actually organic and not, um, not, not organized, that is. But, uh, anyways, I'm just gonna get to building that, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, the cave is done now. Um, I could add a bit more details to it, but for now I'm just gonna leave it alone. Uh, I may add more details later, but not right now. You can walk through it over here, then you can go out here, you can go fishing, whatever you want to do. And, uh, yeah. So, now we're going to move on to the clock tower over here on this side. And I have to think about what we're going to do. So, let me just plan this out for a second, and I will be back. I think I have a plan now. We're going to stack it up like this. Uh, it's going to be a 3x3, three three, and then it's going to be 5x5 five five up top. So I'm just gonna grab some stone, I already have that. Grab some cobblestone, stone brick and such. Okay. And then place the cobblestone all around like this. I will randomize it in a bit. Place like that, like that, and then we can add some uh, randomization. Like this, okay. Add more stone bricks to, the, or more cracked stone bricks to the bottom. We can do that and do that. Do that as well over here. And then more of this and that. Alright, and then we can go up farther. Two, one, two, three. I'm gonna go up farther. There we go. And then we can move out, I think. Let's see. If we want a clock tower, we want it to be like this. So if we had it like this, and that design, one, two, three, and then that. Alright, so, um, then we can do go over here, stack that up like that, and then let's try and do it on all sides. Actually, I'm not sure. This looks fairly okay. Now we're just gonna go back in, fill in these gaps. I'm going to do a bit more of them later. Fill in them right here. Fill in the gaps. All around. And even though nobody's really gonna see this on the other side, I'm just gonna fill it in anyways, just to keep it consistent. 
Uh, what's that doing there? Alright, just do that. Okay. And then, we're going to design the inner area. So grab some wool, like that. And grab that as well. And then we can go up here. Uh, get some buttons, maybe. So we can put the wool all around, like this. And stack that all the way up. Okay, and then we can add, some, add in some randomization. Like that. We're gonna do that. This kind of gives, gives it like a old feeling, like it's um, not new wool. It's like old wool, whatever. I don't know how to explain it. And then we can get some fences, maybe. Or how about those? That actually might look good. So we can point up there, and then maybe over here. Well, I think that looks good. And then I can uh, keep doing it on the other sides. And since nobody's going to see that side, I might as well just not do it. I'll uh, just fill it in anyways though. But I'm not actually going to put any buttons on there or whatever. Alright, and then randomize. And now we have all our clocks done, we can go back in and design the roof. So, let's say we do something like this, and we go all the way up. Like so, and then have this top area be like that, and then we can go right there, all the way back down, and let's see. If you want to do that, will actually look good. Actually, let's grab some slabs. Let's test it out. That might look good, uh, but I'm not sure yet. And I can go in here, run these all along, like so. I hate it when I drop my stairs or er, blocks, whatever. All right, do this. Now, um, I was thinking we could do it, oh, that's, that's offset, don't want that. Wait, where is it? One, two, three. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so as I was saying, I was thinking that we could do this asymmetrical instead of being so symmetrical. Um, not sure yet. They could, it would definitely look a lot better, but I'm not, I'm not amazing at asymmetrical uh, building. All right, we'll go up here, and then we can do this all the way down. I go there, all the way up, over here, and do that. Alright, and now we have our basic like frame on there. Um, we can do that, and then we can grab some stairs, maybe those stairs. And then go up like this. Uh, grab some... There we go. We could do this as well, like that. Uh, just to keep it like old style. Um, and then go over here. Do that. And 
then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try on all sides and see how it looks. Actually, I think it looks pretty good. I'm surprised because I've actually I've tried building clock towers before and it hasn't really looked amazing. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good to me. Uh, we can go up here, fill in that, or maybe do that. Um, I'll fill this in with that. Would that good, look good? Yeah, that looks fine. And then we can fill this in with what? That? No. Oh, I want some glowstone. That would look good. Grab some glowstone and put uh, a door on it. We'll have to look at this at night to see um, what it looks like. I can do it here, here, and here. Glowstone. And then do it on all sides again. Like that. There, there, and there. And then do there. Uh, yeah, there. There, there, and there. And like that. Um, it might look good to actually indent it. Like, if we moved it inside, like that, I'm just wondering how it'll look. If we did that, moved it in one. I'm just wondering. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. We can just go back out, like so. Alright, looks good. Uh, now I've just got to go back down and finish up this. Randomize it. Like so. Alright, so I think it's pretty much done. We should look at it at night right here. 16,000. Um, yeah. We can go in here, grab some more glowstone. I'm thinking we could light the base down here. Like put uh, glowstone right there. And we could do stairs. Where's my stairs? There you go. We could do stairs right there. We could do right there. And we could do something like that if we want. Hmm. How about that? That looks good. Actually, that looks good. Yeah. So if you do that, and then uh, just randomize the stairs like that. And do that on all sides. We gotta do that. Like that. Okay, and then actually, I'm just gonna do stone right there. Great. Uh, sorry, my voice is a bit groggy or something. I don't know. Um, so if we set set the video settings to moody, so just I just want to see how it looks. Looks really cool. Yeah. Alright, so looks like the clock tower is pretty much done, as far as I can tell. So now we can uh, set back to. We gotta set back to bright. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. If, if you liked the video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. And I will see you all in the next episode. See ya!